That is correct. The model number is 85543. And this packaging design gives you a clue straight away that it's a Diecast Masters model. Inside the robust outer shipping carton is the usual nylon bag, and inside that is a tin. Yes, no doubt that's a tin. It has first class quality printing, and it also includes details of the real machine. Lid off. First thing out is a small instruction sheet and that explains how to remove and add the operator into the cab. Next is the small Diecast Masters brochure and this is the 2017 version. And there's the operator disappearing into a small hole. Let's get him out and no, he wants to be in the hole. Okay, we'll put the operator to one side for some disciplinary action. And then we'll show our strength by removing the top foam. It tries to resist, it tries to stay in the tin, but we're not going to let it. We're going to pull it out. And once it's beaten, we can see the model residing in the bottom of the tray, and then we can set about removing it. Just a reminder that you can see all of the reviews made by Cranes Etc. over on the Cranes Etc. website. Over a thousand models have been reviewed, and each one's got its own report. Also, if you'd like to support Cranes Etc. going forwards, then head over to the Cranes Etc. Patreon page, where you can sign up to support our work and get some rewards too. So let's take a look at this guy, and actually he's not very big. So he had better not pick a fight with the rest of the Cranes Etc. team. Most people would go in the cab by the door, but not our operator. For him it has to be something special, so we unclip the roof and then we can see inside the cab. And then we can quite literally drop our friend into the hot seat. If your aim is good, he'll end up sitting properly. And once he's there, we can seal him in to make sure we get a proper long shift of work. Starting underneath, the detailing is at the simpler end, but the transmission has been modelled. If we look at the pivot point, we can see the transmission crossing it, but there are no hydraulic hoses. The tyres are good, and they're mounted on plastic wheels. And there are quite a few plastic parts on the model, including the access stairway and the handrails. It's that thin type of plastic, which is quite flexible, so it won't break off. And that also covers the grab rails and mirror on the cab. Looking at the back, there's a small graphic on top of the wheel arch. And the two grills are also formed by graphics. Moving to the front, all of the rivets are painted and they are quite large. But the hydraulics are simple because there are no hoses to any of the cylinders. The rock bucket is quite nice, although the grill at the top is solid rather than perforated. <laughs> Let's give the 980M a run out on the Cranes Etc test track, and it rolls very smoothly. The steering angle is reasonable, but because the big wheels are fixed to their axles, there's a bit of skidding when turning, and also the rear axle has no oscillation. We move on to the front end loading capabilities, and a good carry angle can be achieved using the stiff hydraulic rams. The bucket also raises to quite a decent height, and because the rams have that stiffness holding the poses into problem. But as you can see, the movement is jerky rather than smooth. If we flip the bucket over, we can see the tipping angle, and that's quite reasonable. So at least you can expect it to dump its load. One thing the mechanism doesn't really allow, though, is a decent cut angle. And it takes a little bit of effort to get the bucket to lie flat. We move on to test the 980M in the Cranes Etc. Stockpile Simulator and it's convincingly able to shovel into the rocks. Then using the specially adapted hand controls, the bucket can be loaded, 
and we can reverse away. After driving around for 25 minutes we found a tipper truck. And it's an American one with a high side, and as you can see the 980M has no problem getting over the top of it. Once again we see the special cranes etc, remote control, operating the bucket. This model seems more like a development of the previous 980K model, and so it has some of the older style plastic handrails. But as a plus point it has had some modifications, and the main one is the removable operator, which makes the model more flexible. Overall this model from Diecast Masters is rated as good. Awesome.